Hello everyone, and welcome back to Fableheim and along Kong Rong Con, spearheaded by the Silver Eminence, Summa E. We resume where we left things Two off, ones. by seizing the city. Next turn, because we need the battering ram. Towards destiny. Which means we're beginning with an end turn phase. I did upgrade a bunch of buildings uh, before I started recording, but that's fine and dandy. Nothing important, just that we're now really low on money and relatively low on food. And this guy is coming in with friends. Stand so we up. shall pull back and continue our replenishment. It was rude that he interrupted it, but hey, what can you expect of the kingdom of Wu? Cao Hong has come out against us, probably because this is his only settlement remaining. So we're going to go ahead and kill him. Just delegate that close victory real quick. We could even receive replenishment. It, neither of those choices really matter. So take the 300. We are losing some of our mercantile prowess. Whatever that's actually called. Which is unfortunate. But unsurprising. We still have to decide what we're doing with the new armies that we have acquired from the Kingdom of Song. I suppose they were the Duchy of Song. And I'm honestly not sure. Living in harmony. It is said by some that caution is true wisdom, patience in the face of danger. Some would disagree, but not these two, whose bond is forged from their shared beliefs. Hopefully they do not become overcautious together. <laughs> Yuan Jie and Wang Ji have gone closer. Good. Gong Ji is now intrepid. Immune to fair and terror. That's cool. Gong Yong is now a populist. And Jiong Gong... Jiong... Gong? Is now dutiful. Nice. Tao Xie has returned to the folds. And there's a bunch of buildings being upgraded. Alright. First things first. For China. Decisive victory. Give it to me. All plans are coming to pass. We now have a lot of commanders and strategists. We have captured Yon Yingping and Jia Shu, but of course, it doesn't matter because they're both they going must to die. Be made an example of, or we invite chaos. Cao Hong has been destroyed. Remain dormant. Cao Chong. Hmm. I guess we'll head towards the combat stats in case we ever need more. Generals. Sayan, unfortunately, started down here, but that's okay. Now, I believe. Oh, Wang Zi has leveled up. Wang Zi. What to do? Night Battles is always nice, and it will bring us to Zeal. Sure. Why not? This we army can go Strike punch quickly. the Yellow Turban Rebellion that is mustering. Not our fault, but they're there. So it does pluck they that. A coherent strategy. What is it? How does the saying go? Nip that in the bud. There we go. An unfortunate consequence of war. All deeds I guess we'll take their punishment. The people here are few, but enough to serve but China. Enough to serve yeah. China. Off with your hands. It kind of just fell down. The hardest blow. <laughs> okay. We have need of good fighters. So these How two shall be recalled, which will reduce, increase welcome, our money rather. We're currently having a food issue, which is a surprise to me. So let's increase the taxes at least once. There, that helps. I don't think that will do. Mm. Okay, that caused a few public order issues. A few. What is your problem here? Faction support population taxation. So they're on the negative already. Not your wisdom. Hmm. You are recovering, if not only because we don't have control of the silk yet, but we will soon. Probably. Actually, it's really far away. So maybe not. We're more focused on spice and the happenings down here. 
Now Gungji did go into the river, which is usually a terrible mistake. But I think we can grab this guy and kill him. Because I don't like him. With, you know, minimal injuries, hopefully. Let feasting commence! I would consider that minimal, minus Samai being at no health. Fortunately, we got a fish, and we captured Xiao Yi, and we're gonna take his noble sword because he is a rival with Dai Shi Se, one of our oldest comrades. Now, what are we doing? We're not replenishing, so we might as well force march. We could go to Yulin, I suppose. Seems fair. Actually, moving through this is a real pain, huh? We have more armies coming from over here. He's really defending his final bastion, huh? How do I even get over here? We'll go the here on the road. Victory. Because Zhi Qian is ready to descend from Hepu and claim the rest of this. Passion cannot burn indefinitely. Now I'm taking a gamble here that they are not actually here. Yeah, there we go. Easy. I knew it. Balian, our good friend in the north. Taking Chong on. I guess you can take the Jade Mine too. Remain you resolute. could probably go punch her. I mean, she's just going to flee, so should I really? Strike through. We'll take this. To arms. A valiant defeat. For we'll start the people. It's fine. I, the Jade Mines are kind of a really tight map, so I understand. We'll go here with you, and you can prepare to go that way. Simafu, my brother. We reclaimed Chong Sha, as was Ziplan. This army has been basically driven off and is incredibly weak. So I have no concern for that. We could cross the Yangtze and start going through here. Who does this belong to? The Duchy of Liang. We could... Mm. Is it worth taking Nanyang? I mean, both of them? Because that's how you really get money from Nanyang. Controlling both. I don't think it is. Hmm. I really need more help over here, huh? Which is why this army, I think, is going to be kitted out. We really need better shock cav, huh? Right now we just have this medium lance cav. Oops. I don't mind four of them. So that's okay. And then we'll put in pearl dragons, I guess? Over here... We ran out of money, but we just want all Azure Dragons for Daika. And last but not least, we need a Strategist. We did just recall some. Huanji doesn't get along with anyone. Chunlin. Am I hiring you, Chunlin? Because it looks like that's what's happening here. Let us... I guess I can check here, huh? Chunlin, are you in my court? You are not. Chun Di is in my court, but I don't think I can hire you at the moment. No, because he is currently on assignment. So we'll wait until these guys come back. Sao Chong and it was Sai Yan. So next turn we'll get our strategists in here and then we'll move out. They might need a turn of punishment. But you know what I mean. With 7,000 gold left, actually, we need to try and restore trade, which we can't. Oh, spaghettios. We're very treacherous. He's a little unhappy. I mean, all things considered, it could be worse. He is a king. We're still receiving money from him and the Kingdom of Yan, so probably not much to do here. It's kind of hoping there'd be more trade because, as you can see, our trade monopoly is kind of fading away. 
The downside of annexing your best trading partner, huh? I guess I could take the mine now. Meh. I should wait. I should wait. Probably. I guess we'll just go over here and teach people a lesson. <laughs> the Simafu. He's kind of done what I wanted him to do. Stand ready. For the most part. Conserve energy until necessary. Komlu, my good boy. You are heading over to Nanhai to begin oh, the end, really. Ever upwards. To think it's been this long. We will soon be declaring ourselves Emperor. Remain supple. Of course. It's important to remember that we are a Han governor. This is a Pyrrhic victory, so we're going to fight it. And being a Han governor, it means we could not declare ourselves emperor at the start of the Three Kingdom era. Ironically, though, it was us reaching the rank of king that triggered the other Three Kingdoms. But that's okay. This is Sun Mi, the leader of the Kingdom of Wu, our rivals, our arch nemesis. Nemesis? Yeah, Arch Nemesis. And I'm not that terrified. There are a few Pearl Dragons littered throughout his army, but meh. I don't. I laugh. So I would normally deploy very aggressively. That is my style that I enjoy. But we're not going to do that today. Because we are rocking double traps. Oh, yeah. Which means we're going to have to stay behind to defend them. So, no aggressive deployment here. Uh, you guys also need to be on fire at will. Yeah, just shoot at anything you see, really. You guys. Should we split them into two? Why not? Seven go over here. Six go over here. We don't have fire arrows, unfortunately. Xiong Gong is a little bit weak. So Sun Luo is basically going to have to carry this entire fight. Good. Not exactly what I wanted to hear, but... Oh, you already have Flaming Shot. That's good. I do enjoy a good Flaming Shot. Especially when it's fired at Pearl Dragons. I say this every now and then. But it is important to remember that the Flaming Shots were nerfed. Because they were really good. They're still pretty good, in my opinion. Now, can Sun Luo duel? I'm not horribly terrified of this Sun Mi guy. I think he could take him. Uh, no. You're not dueling anybody. Is this range resistance? Oh, cool. I do have this. You don't have... Okay, so that's for enemy cooldowns. Oh, he doesn't want to duel. Probably because I'd win. We can go duel Zhou Her. That's probably fine. We are just letting our... I hope this doesn't mess it up too much. Yeah, I messed it up a lot. That's fine. So we're being shot. We're still being shot here in the middle. That's fine. We're going to get our Cav moving. These Cav will probably defend. Remember, the Yellow Cav are pretty good at uh, constant battle. Whereas the Shock Cav are not. Shut up and die. They're more for, you know, shock value. <laughs> we'll kind of split them up a little bit. So I'll turn one of these guys to help out entirely. You. Oh, you both turned. That's fine. Okay. Both of you need to leave loose steps. How many have you killed? Not no. enough, I think. I leave mixed I missile stance. Your is sharper than your wit. Just go into normal stance and hit things. The enemy unit flees. What coward! I might send him in for a little bit. 
Now, there might be some um, friendly fire occurring right now. But hopefully not. Hey, what am I cap doing? Oh, they're fighting that. We'll come back and fight him. The time has come. He is, of course, the most terrifying, Dong Liyun. I think Sun Lo might have a thing or two to say about that, though. Go, go, go! Onyx warriors! You guys can come help break this out. Ooh, good shots. Ready! One step good closer shots. to victory! Elite dragons! Stand ready! Bring Sun Luo back. Sneak is needed. You guys getting a little too close for my liking. We will bring our calf back. Our other calf are kind of having a hard time here. For one reason or another. Where are you guys? I need you over here. I mean, I don't really. So just break this and we'll deal with it. I do think you guys need to be on guard mode. Oh, you're out of ammo. That's fair. You know? Can I get you over here? And you guys back up. You guys back up. You two deal with this. They're breaking. Everything is going run, swell, run. except for this guy being alive still. The enemy warriors Very disappointing. Ha. Move out quickly. We'll send in the Onyx Dragons. Load They'll get it done. Dragons. Make ready. Open fire. Soon the Lord should be able to kill him pretty Prepare. quickly. I'm Show even going to bring in Ying Yang. Ready. That's how confident I am. Ying Yang, my not legendary strategist. Ready. Fortunately. Oh. That's not what I meant. The enemy general falls. Ha! There it goes. They have fallen. This is no great loss. All right, and we killed the other guy. Die if you so, cannot surrender. I'm gonna look for the pearl dragons and kill them off. Dragons and call beast. it a day. A close victory, which is better than the AI I thought it was going to be. So that's cool. Hopefully, we can uh, collect Sunmi's head. That will be the third leader of Wu, whose head we can hang over Donglai. Which is nifty. Although I'm pretty sure Sun Jian and Sun Se's head have both rotten away by now. Our faith was rewarded. Now ah, well. We captured someone. Or we stole their ancillaries. We captured Zhou He and Sun Mi. Well done. Well done. Nemesis with Samai. Yeah, well, that's what I thought. Goodbye. We should not waste resources on imprisoning them. <laughs> I sound pretty evil for a mercantile faction, don't I? I did say that this series was called the Long Kong Rong Con, involving a lot of deception. Now Although the con's almost over, you know, almost. But it's not over until the fat lady sings. Or. Until we, you know, get a seat of power. We are quite broke. But it's fine. We could... Dissolving a few of our armies would give us quite a bit of money. I mean, we're currently at peace here with everyone. With Tao Ying and the Kingdom of Yan. She's not needed over here. For now. She will be soon. Do you have orders so for now, we're going to go ahead and recall this army. How can I serve, my lord? They also need better retinues that we can currently welcome, not afford. Doing that freed up 2k of income, which is nice. This army might be a little more necessary. Eh. I mean, Yuan Jie was the faction leader, so I'm not against keeping him here. Oh, the yellow turbans hold this, and there is a lot of people trying to get it. Okay, fine. You can fight over that. It looks like the yellow turbans own Shul Fang as well. We could try and liberate that. Try. You might need better retinues, though. Meh. Oh, this needs to be repaired. 
I'm actually not even sure what I repaired. Uh, it's okay. We'll let them think about their life decisions. All right. You're staying here for one more turn, and we are going onwards. Do we have any quests at the moment? Or just click this. Green storage, meh, meh, and meh. So we boarded those three, constructed Confucian Temple, embed a spy in Tao Ying's army, move any characters to the Zhehe Fishing Port, upgrade from settlement administration, and land developments. Hmm. Not sure how possible all of that is. The Kingdom of Wu sends yet another army towards Sang Wu. They don't seem very interested in letting that go. They're sending two armies towards Sang Wu. Good. Good. Or they're very afraid of losing Nanhai, which honestly, I can't blame them, because I'm coming for it. You are orange, whoever you were. Your name went by so fast. <laughs> oh, you're fleeing. Yellow Turban Rebellion. Ah, because she got it, whatever her name is. I should think that's the kingdom of Yan. The kingdom of Wu. Sun Mi has passed away. I wonder why. Has been succeeded by Rong Zhen Jie. Mission success, strong economy. Dong Yun is now dutiful. Cool. Who be person of merits? Obviously not. Sun Li, huh? You're weak and careless and kind. You've been in the Duchy of Liang. That's weird. Does anyone else think that's weird? I can't see this, but I'm afraid it of its garrison. See the land filled with light. So we're gonna go this way. Meditate on peace. Prepare for war. For and honor. assist. And we'll wait for our friend to get here before we click the button. Draw the many together as a whole. Attack! There we go. All right. Justice cannot be denied. I could have broken the siege and then attacked with the other. You're willing to work for me. You're populous, aesthetic, friendly, and lame. You're both willing to work for me. Solitary, understanding, and trusting. Not the greatest traits for a champion. Nah. Grant them dignity and death. Like the wind, not satisfied with winning the battle, our general overtakes the retreating enemy troops and lays a successful ambush, further reducing the numbers that can stand against us. Well done, Pei Jun. Especially Your for a strategist. Is welcome, my lord. Yes, yes. Welcome. Announce my arrival. Now don't get too much of a big head. We will upgrade Chong on because that's not a whole lot of food. Zong Zhuhui is leveled up. Our distant relative. She is the administrator of Jia Ji, but she is on the field, so she's getting zeal. Jia Ji doesn't have a whole lot of industry anyway, right? It's mostly commerce and spice. I could reach this enforced march, but there's no real point. So we'll go into normal stance. Ever onward. Ah, there he is. Hello, Jian Yong. Sprout ever upwards to heaven. Kong Lu is continuing his march. Advancing. Going in the water is risky, but I think we can do it. Prepare full sail. Even riskier. But hey. Follow the heart. You gotta risk it to get Eddie, the biscuit. In the name of China. Ji Chiang is Moving ever Heaven closer rewarded our passion. to Nanhai. He's being attacked from three sides. A fine settlement. That's pretty impressive. We'll take it. Peace yeah, we'll take it all conquest. right. Hepu, you are very mad at me. All right, here's some attack exemption. And I don't believe I have anything for public order. Here we go. Ugh. That's not even good public order. It's the only thing I got, though. Don't I have two areas like this? Yeah, Hana, no, because I can... Okay, Hana is fine. 
Paul Yang is fine. Actually, I should probably try and reduce Paul Yang's thing. Population, huh? It's always a pain. Je You don't have any public order building. Get rid of this building. And I'll build a temple. That was a quest, right? We're probably going to need temples in a lot of places. If I were to take any guess whatsoever. Hey, look. Entire civil unrest. Build a temple. Ugh. Could build just a lot of garrisons, too. That's always an option. Speaking of garrisons, Hepu, you can get a garrison. Oh, I should stop upgrading like that, but there we go. You have a rank 3 temple and a garrison, which you're still very mad. But you'll get over it. In fact, I'm going to convince you to get over it. There you go. What else should we do? I've been kind of ignoring the assignments. Mao Wing Jing could increase my money from a number of things. We do control the spice. You know? We did control the spice. You know. <laughs> ah, that's unfortunate. We've lost both of these spice markets, and that makes me very sad. No wonder I haven't been sending people out on missions. We don't have the spice Let desire to shape empower. And guide passion. Okay, can we just in two turns? Yuri. Good. Sun Luo. At ease. Well. Why would I fight them in the rice paddy when I can fight them Focus your outside the rice paddy? Oh, he's going to flee. That's why. An Craven. Task. We're still pulling him in. That's very annoying. But for China, I can remedy that by just besieging him. He'll take more attrition. He'll be good. One of our pearl dragons are convalescing, unfortunately, and we have a food problem. Fortunately, Kongler, I cannot call you, so we are calling. Please, Sayan. Okay, good. Be still, Sayan, who actually likes people in this army for some reason. So that's good. I am just going to use a bunch of uh, or orange onyx dragons because I like the infinite ammunition. We now have a food problem, a severe food problem Cross because that. of all of the tax exemption. That's right. That'll do it. I need to move someone over here, right? Resist the chaos of change. We did it. Gungji's now happier. Yay. All right. Hey, look, I almost fixed the food problem. <laughs> okay, Hapu's an Imperial City, so we're going to change that. Hello, Hapu. Where are you at? Boop. I fixed the food problem. And caused a new problem. Hmm. Our population is 5.6 million out of 5 million, so we're at maximum. Uh, and we have far more growth than we have decline. That's a bit of a problem. And you're even here. Well, you're getting ready to do it. All right, we'll give them one turn and we'll let them think about this. But we might have to downgrade other buildings. Do I have another Imperial City? Let's check that real quick. Dong. Wait, why are you in Imperial City? Do I care about that? I sure don't. No. Wrong button. 
8 million out of 4.5 million. Won't we fixed our food problem? I guess that's all that really matters in the end. Our food problem has been resolved. Our money problem, however, has not. That wasn't really an important upgrade. I should focus on important upgrades. This is Henai. Henai. Oh, I read that awkwardly. I guess you can get have a garrison. Garrisons are great. You'll love it. Wait, I don't need to upgrade your garrison. You're perfectly happy. So who is not Yizhu? Could do that. Yizhu Islands is okay. Luoyang. Can I have a garrison? It's odd thinking of Luoyang as just a small city. But anyway, next turn. Let us see what transpires. What will they do now? I'm having a lot of fun on the Yu River. You're fleeing, shocker. Well, now I can take that back, which I appreciate. I did need that. Zhong Fengping wishes to leave our coalition. Very well. Goodbye. Farewell. We were never really in this coalition for Zhang Fengping anyway. We are in it for Liu Bei. You know? And he's had our back so far, which I appreciate. Zhang Fengpi has left the coalition of the Kingdom of Qi. Rebellion imminent in Hepu. I don't have much of a say of that. I did try to fix it, but now I've been besieged. Very irritating. Reforms. Is there anything that gives me a lot of public order? That's what I need. Is this a tax building? Why do I... It's fine. I think it's important we get that. So, I should probably do that right now. Wait, who has an empty building slot? There was someone, but I built a garrison. Alright, hold on. I just need that for like a second. Just one minute. Public order. We'll go down that line, reduce our corruption, increase our public order. All of the good thing is now we can get rid of this crap. Can't speed it up twice in one turn, turns out, but that's okay. Someone has reached a new rank. Zugon. You finally have composure. Took you a while, but you eventually made it. And that's what's important. Oh my. Absolutely not. Who are you? Hmm. Interesting. Being at peace with the Duchy of Liang is making this a little complicated. But you know what? That's fine. Restore harmony. We could go take a peek at what's happening over here in Shulfong. Destiny awaits. Eh, because there's nothing else to do, really. More food, please. I love more food. With Balian, we could go over here and attack Shongyong. However, this is like an island. There's nowhere for me to progress from there, really, without trespassing, anyway. We need to get over here to crush you permanently, huh? If I attack here, which I want to do... Oh, wait, no, it takes like three turns to go through there, doesn't it? Strike as one. Tong Z. No I apologize for what I'm going to do to you. Each victory brings stability to the realm. 
but I need you to kind of be... It will prosper for the better under my rule. How do I put this? Requires discipline. A distraction? <laughs> I think a distraction is the best way to put it. Yeah, I need you to grab their attention. And Balian's gonna kind of move around in the shadows and then kill anything that you manage to attempt to grab the attention of. Two options. I'm leaning towards smashing the army. I think smashing the army is the option. Or taking the livestock farm with no losses. To arms! It's this one. So this will allow us to replenish. To and will give us a garrison to fight for us. Oh my, it's already very weak. Why is it already suffering attrition? They a oh, are they out strategy. of food? <laughs> That's funny. This will meet our needs. Yeah, I'm s plenty strong. I mean, Sima Fu is just... Whew. You know, our faction air needs to be Sima Fu. <laughs> but he's already 53. Who even is our faction air? It's Kong Lu. Because Sumai appreciates the wisdom that was Kong Rong and is handing the kingdom back to Kong Rong's legacy after, you know, after he passes away. After he's had his fun, more or less. Zeal, yes please, and thank you. Lift the peasants. Hello, Kong Lu. Speaking of you, Standard starts. we're gonna not Cross go it. straight in. We're gonna take a peek. All right, we're going in. We do have to wait one turn, which is a little unfortunate, but can't do anything about it. With Zichen, you can reach this. Spread throughout. Good, another town for us to take. <laughs> Let feasting commence. Yes. This shows much potential. It does, but you didn't build a whole lot here. Why would you? Upgrade the city. <laughs> Truth is an unquenchable flame. Do we lift the siege at Hepu? Is that what CGM is going to do? Well, first Straight of all, we need to take this real quick. Kill him again. I'm not sure how many times I've killed Our this guy. Victory is proof of Zufong. Approval. It's been a few. Oh, hey. Well, <laughs> I guess that was the last time. It is the people's will. We also got a crazy axe from that that you can use. And I think I'm giving it to you. Because Balian has... Yeah, he has the Ancestral Pledge. I don't have the set for it, though. And who is this? Is this Kong Lu? I no, Dai Ke. Kong Lu. Actually, you probably need a really good weapon, don't you? You're over here. Vent frustration. He's using the Heirloom Spear. Let's give our heir... A powerful weapon. He deserves it. After all, he's our heir. You know? Makes sense. I guess you're going to lift the siege. I kind of want to keep going this way. Losing Happy would really Moving suck right now. Destiny. I should have checked this first, but yeah, it's a decisive defeat. So, withdraw. It would have been funny if I could have taken it. <laughs> Caution! Douse is the heart's desire. Bye, sir. Congratulations on your level. Venomous shot. I've actually heard. Is this only while firing? Not engaged in melee, not moving. Okay, so yeah. I've actually heard that this is incredibly powerful. Or more specifically. Zhang Jiang's version of this is really powerful. So we'll see if it's also very good on Tai Shi Se. We do have a bow we could give to him. But meh, not really feeling it. Should probably take a look through our ancillaries, especially for our new group, Liu Feng. There you go. Oh, this is a resolve horse. Meh. Do we have any instincts? We have that. 
and a guard. You're plenty satisfied, though, so you don't need that. I don't think any of these are instinct. Just kidding. It's that. Daika, you're pretty well geared out. And Saiyan. We have eight noble swords. I don't know whether to be impressed or irritated. People's Justice. Inspector. Well, you're pretty satisfied, so you want a bow? Grill deployment on retinue. Ooh, that could be fun. We'll give you a bow. Give you something to do. Campaign speed at win, win commanding, but don't you give that. No. Alright, so we'll give you... This guy? This guy. My lord. Congratulations. You're now a commander. And... I do like you having the mustering bonus, but we have enemies to deal with. The sooner, the better. Guess Impossible. you're going here. Excuse me? Not possible. Reserve action. Do I replenish? Are we in a... What are we doing? How are we? What are we? Exactly. We are a coalition. Yeah. The whole... Minus 59 treachery thing. Probably is going to prevent us from doing this. Portion. So I can't move here? Always forward. What just happened? Ill considered. Okay. You know what? I'm just, just going to let it go. Hepu, I know you're in trouble. I'm sorry. I wish I could do something. I really do. I come like already preparing for my silk. <laughs> I know it's coming. And I'm going to need it. You don't need that. Okwan is fine. You're fine. Kwaiji, prepare for the silk. Everyone prepare for silk. I might need to downgrade one of them if we run out of entrepreneurs, though. Just need to keep an eye on that. I've had that issue before. I won't have it again. What are you looking like? Moderately upset. But I like the food. If we could just... Unexempt everyone. We would have so much food. But unfortunately... We can't. Jiaji, prepare the rice patty for more food. Because food's good. Who doesn't love food? We'll head into the last turn. We might just end on this turn. Or well, the start of this turn, anyway. Depending on what happens, if anything happens. Right now it looks like the Kingdom of Shu Han is taking their sweet time. And as they start saying that, of course, their turn ends. Flee from me. Flee, you cowards. This army has attritioned all the way to hell and back. All that. He did not see Balian there. But Balian saw him. Well, that was pretty anticlimactic. We have captured a spy in Shen Wu. He's friends with Mao Wenqiang and Ni Zhu. Is this one of the guys that we saved? Hmm. Are you one of my... What are you doing exactly? I can't check. Hmm. Well. Sometimes you just have to set an example. Empower trades. I mean, I'm okay with that. The Kingdom of Wu invited Zhang Fengping into their coalition. Oh. Zhang Yong commanded the vassal Jiaju to join the war against us. Chong Gong Ying requested Zhang Fengping join the war against us. We have executed Shen Wu. This general has been executed. Rightly or wrongly, judgment has been passed, and earthly justice has been officially satisfied. Now the only authority this poor soul needs to answer to is heaven's law. 
Sober Ascetic. At a victory feast in a forest clearing, this general forsakes alcohol to remain pure. While others are intoxicated, this general's unclouded senses detect encroaching enemy scouts. Feigning drunkenness, the general staggers close enough to draw their blade, scaring them away. Good job, Konglu. I knew you were my heir for a reason. Her Ying is now philanthropic. I do enjoy... Philanthropy. For tax breaks. <laughs> there probably weren't such a things back in ancient China, but that's what I could see Samai doing. We have a lot of things to upgrade, which I'm probably going to do in between recordings. And you know what? We're just going to call it here. Because there's a lot to do. Time is running short for the kingdom of Wu, who have been reduced to four counties. Sorry, I couldn't think of what they were called. Four counties, Zer Yue is in the same boat. Exactly four. And our treachery will soon be irrelevant as we claim our stake for the dragon throne.